For electroblotting, for proteins we'll use PVDF paper. This usually comes sandwiched between two other sheets of paper. The blue are just protective sheets. The white is a PVDF paper. Make sure you wear gloves before handling this because proteins from your fingers will bind irreversibly to that paper. You have to pre-wet the PVDF paper in methanol. All you have to do is just get it wet. Then we'll soak the paper in electro blotting transfer buffer. Along with two pieces of absorbent filter paper and two fiber pads. Add more buffer if you need it to cover. The gel has been run and we remove the gel from its cartridge and we'll soak the gel in your electrotransfer buffer also. We're done with the methanol now, so we'll exchange that for some more electroblotting buffer. This is a cartridge that will assemble our electroblotting uh, devices in. The gel, we'll remove that for now, put it in another uh, container of buffer. When we put together our gel sandwich, make sure that you arrange this in exactly the right order. Put your black side of your gel sandwich cartridge down first. Put a fiber pad, then a piece of filter paper, After the filter paper, we'll put our gel in place. Then our PVDF paper. It's important to make sure we remove any bubbles between the gel and the paper. One way to do this is to take a test tube and simply roll it across the membrane. That will push any bubbles to the edge. Follow that with another piece of filter paper. And the second fiber pad. We will then sandwich the cartridge in place using, uh, squeeze this in place and lock it as such. We're now ready to put this into the electrophoresis cartridge. The black side goes towards the black side on the cartridge and the two of these will fit into place and just goes into place. Now we're ready to put this cartridge into our tank. Make sure that the uh, leads are in the middle. Then we'll put a ice container in here. This is to keep the electrophoresis buffer cool during the electrophoresis. Put that on a stir plate and drop in a stir bar and we'll fill the tank with our electroblotting buffer. Make sure the tank is filled all the way to the top so we get good electrotransfer. Turn on the stir plate. Then attach your cover with the leads Remember, red on red, black on black. 
and connect them to your power supply. When your electro blotting is completed, take your cartridge out. The fiber, the filter paper. This is the PVDF membrane here and we can see we have transfer of the uh, pre-stained molecular weight marker. The transfer is complete when the gel itself has no trace of the molecular weight marker.